we've had huge growth in the last couple of years, especially in the, the U18 girls program. So we saw the last year, I think we doubled our numbers um, in 2015 from 2014 and just uh, our, G, our U18 girls. So that's kind of like the high school age. Um, and then obviously that is kind of transmitted into the senior women's program. I got into rugby back in high school in Nova Scotia in 1996. My dad played rugby when he was younger, so he sort of uh, introduced me to it, I guess. And then um, when I started playing in high school, he was my coach. So that kind of gave us some, a chance to hang out together and played for three years out there and then moved to Calgary and I've been playing here since uh, 2007, so. There have been a lot more women, um, especially, well, be I guess beginning in 2014 with Canada's awesome performance at the World Cup, the women coming second. And, um, and then again, of course, this year with the, with the sevens at the Olympics, that was awesome. And so there's been a lot of interest, um, parents calling for their younger kids and girls in the university and high school ages that are coming out for, doing, for uh, the first time, so. What people don't realize is, um, the people in the rugby community, we knew how good our women were going into the Olympics. Everybody's like, was this a big surprise? Like, were we, and I'm like, no, we were ranked third going into the Olympics. So it was going to be an upset if we did win a medal. But everybody all of a sudden realized that, no, women's rugby in Canada is very competitive on the world scale. So that's been just like, yeah, like the rugby community has been super excited about it. Because um, we are a fairly small community, so you either know somebody or know somebody who knows somebody who's on that team. And everybody's pretty excited for them. Very cool to see something that we've played for so long be recognized uh, on an international stage. It's not a gentle sport, but it is a, it's a controlled rough sport. Like people say, oh, well, there's no padding, no helmets, no, no et cetera, like football, but it's a completely different sport. You know, we, we learn to hit differently because we, we want to be safe and we want to protect ourselves. There's a reason the Seattle Seahawks hired a rugby player to coach their team in tackling, is take their head out of the game to lower and not just kind of smash into people. Um, so it is rough. You're going to get bruises doing it, but it's a lot of fun. And hopefully, you know, you'll be, we'll be able to teach you how to do it properly and have, you know, safe uh, contact. But uh, yeah, it's it's a good form of aggression, I think. And you can check out calgaryrugby.com um, and you can find a club that's near you.